I really need to build a rack for my bicycle. Tiny house, prepper. Live simple, live free. Hey everybody, I'm Bill with Tiny House Prepper and this is our bicycle, our Rand Screamer. As you can see, it's a tandem recumbent and we ride it a lot and we absolutely love it. And when we go on the, on the road in our, uh, in our RV cottage, we take a road trip, we're gonna wanna take this with us so that we can ride it on our trip. Now most people, if they take a bicycle with them on an RV trip, They'll either hang the bicycle on the back of the trailer or the back of the motorhome, or they'll put it up front uh, on the tongue of the trailer, between the trailer and the, and the tow vehicle, that sort of thing. I don't want to do that for three reasons. First, this thing is too long. It's eight and a half feet long. So that means that if I carry it sideways on the back of, the, of a vehicle, it's eight and a half feet wide, which makes it legally a wide load. <laughs> so I can't really legally go down the road with this mounted sideways across the back unless I have, you know, orange flags and a wide load sign across the back. Well, that's a kind of silly, but that's, that's it. Anything over eight feet is a wide load and this is eight and a half feet wide. So I got to come up with another solution. Another thing is, this is an expensive bicycle, and I don't like to keep it out in the weather, especially on the road where it would get road grunge if you drive uh, while it's raining and all up under that, that gunk all over the place. I don't want that. I want to keep it nice and clean. I want to keep it pristine. It's always been inside, kept inside in our shed. So I want to keep it inside. I don't want it out there in the weather. And also, like I said, it's an expensive bicycle and I don't want it to develop feet and walk off while I'm not here. I mean, it's already got wheels. Why does it need feet? So by putting it inside, it'll be out of the weather and it'll be out of prying eyes. I mean, it's dark windows. Yeah, you can still see it if you go and look, you know, through the windows, but it's not gonna be obvious to a, a casual passerby who might get excited about it if it was hanging on the outside. That's why we bought a truck with an eight foot bed. And when we bought a cap for the top, we got the tallest one we could find. So I have to build some kind of a rack inside to hold it up. I don't want it flopping around in there. So I'm gonna have to put a bicycle rack in there to, to keep it solid, keep it up in place and keep it upright in this tall cap that we just bought. Okay, so here's the deal. Well, first of all, I have a black truck and the way I had it parked, the sun was blazing right down on me here, and the tailgate was so hot, I couldn't even touch it. So I couldn't get in here and do any of the work. So I don't have any place on my property to park it where I'd be in the shade. So I at least turned the truck around. The sun is now up there. I opened these windows to get some ventilation. Hopefully now I can do the work. Okay, so I have to put a bicycle rack in here. Now usually when you think of a bicycle rack, it's something that goes into your uh, trailer receiver hitch or something that straps onto the trunk of a car or something like that. Here's my bicycle rack, right there. That's it. All you do is take the wheel off of your bicycle and then you run this thing through the axle where the, that holds the wheel on and that holds the, the front of the bicycle. It holds the bike upright, holds it solid works really well. So I got to figure out how to do that. I, th I think I'm just going to use a couple pieces of wood. I've been thinking about it for quite a while. I think this will work. So now I've cut two boards like this to fit right in here. One there and one on the other side. And then I'm going to screw this across like that. And that'll give me a good basis to mount this to. And it should, uh, it's wide and it should give support so that the bike won't fall over.
I have a ratchet for this, but I can't find it. I can't find the size. So I'm going to have to do it the long, slow way, unfortunately. Alright, there we go. There is my bicycle rack. I think it's going to work. Well, so I'm all done. Elizabeth hasn't even seen this yet. <laughs> this is our bicycle rack. That is cool. Yep. All I do is just lay it here in the truck like this. Just like that. <laughs> He's pretty slick. <laughs> Keep it from falling you just tell me exactly what you need me to do. Man, I miss riding this thing. Okay. What can I do? Boy, this cover just fits it, doesn't it? Yep. Wow. Got an inch to spare up here. <laughs> Holds it very securely. <clears throat> Just like that. Wow. Very solid. Now, try that while you're pulling a fifth wheel. <laughs> that is really cool, hon. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. It keeps it safe and protected. Yep. That's excellent. Now, if you look in like this, you can see it's there, but it's dark windows, so it's not obvious as you walk past. And then these, of course, can lock. Now, I mean, that can be broken. Somebody that really wants to get in can do that. But another thing I can do, there's a hook right here. I can put a chain around it and put a padlock to the hook there. So I think we're good to go. <laughs> so there we are. Isn't that cool? Yes, I'm, I am thrilled to death that we can safely take yeah. the screamer with us. That's awesome. Nice and secure. Without that little thing that I put there, I've tried that before, put it in there and then try to hold it up with straps on both sides and it's always wobbly and falling over and if it falls over it could break a, you know, the top of the seat or break a window out. This is nice and secure, it's not going anywhere. I'll keep an eye on it and if it does wobble a little bit I can still put some straps back in the back side to keep it from wobbling, but I don't think it's going to be necessary. Right, right, no, it's held in there pretty securely. And there it is, out of the weather, away from prying eyes and all locked up. Very cool. I am so excited. So, now we can be able to take it along with us. Yes, awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. Live simple. Live free. All right, love you. We'll be blessed. We'll see you next time. Okay. <laughs>